Oktoberfest Beer Stein Acrylic Nail Art Design by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video I'm doing a beer stein or beer mug design that has the movable uh, gold, gold type color glitter that's inside of it. Just kind of like how the Coca-Cola bottle that I did a while ago. I thought that that design would be kind of fun to do for Oktoberfest that is coming up in where I live in about a week and I am in Wisconsin or I live in Wisconsin and so Oktoberfest is always a huge event and I thought that this would be quite appropriate to create a design for it. I hope you like it and don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos as well. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is creating an overlay with white acrylic. So I'm going to start and I'm just going to apply it like you always do. Um, usually you see me applying my acrylic from the cuticle going down. I have been trying to make myself do it the correct way, which is going from the bottom up recently. I don't know why I decided that I should really go back to basics and start that over, but I did. And so that's why I have been doing that with some for whatever reason with clear I always like to go from the top to the bottom it's my preference but then I add a clear overlay just to make sure that it is nice and strong and now I'm going to be filing it with a 180 grit file to remove any lumps bumps and imperfections and I'm going to switch over to a 240 grit padded buffer that is going to remove the scratches that that first file may very possibly have left behind and apply a layer of gel sealer and throw that into your lamp to cure. So now I'm going to wrap some plastic wrap just around any sort of cylindrical shape I'm using. This is a brush cover and as you can see, and I just quickly measured it against the size of the nail to make sure that it is indeed a significant amount smaller. And I'm sorry I'm off camera a bit here, um, but what you're doing is you are applying some clear acrylic around it. Now I'm back into back in business here, oh maybe not. Um, so you're applying clear acrylic around half of it or maybe a little less than half. So you're going around it. This is to create your beer mug. You don't want to go all the way around in a circle because you don't actually need that much, but you want it to go a good portion. You do also need to cover up the bottom as well. And so you're just going to go and you're going to add that clear acrylic in a relatively thin layer over and around that. And then just let that set on there, but you have to hold it until it is set because the plastic wrap will begin to slide. And then I'm going to, once it's set, take it off the brush, peel off the plastic wrap, and then set it on that nail, make sure it fits right. And you can file, like I've got a little bit of weird stuff happening at the bottom there. I'm going to file that off right now. And then it should glue much better. So I just used some nail glue and I glue that into place. Sorry, I, my camera had a, had a hiccup. Um, but now I'm going to be taking some clear acrylic and I'm going to be sealing all the edges of the mug nice and securely. And so I'm just going around and doing the entire perimeter. Even if there is nail glue and you're thinking, okay, that's glued, that's not going to come off. Still apply the clear acrylic. It's better to be safe than sorry instead of thinking it's fine and then getting the nail done and it's starting to leak. That's not exactly ideal. Um, but I, in my experience, if it starts leaking in the beginning, it's going to leak. But if it doesn't start leaking in the beginning, you're safe. So now I'm going to take and I'm going to be filling up the nail with two parts or with equal parts, gold and sort of a burnt yellow type of glitter. And then I'm going to take, and this is the weirdest glitter that I have, I think. It's kind of pretty, but it's not shiny. It's sort of satiny looking almost, but it's a white silver glitter that I took a bead of clear acrylic and I dunked that into that white silver satiny glitter. And it looks amazing. And so that's what I did for that. Instead of using a really sparkly glitter, I want it to have a little bit more of a smooth appearance, I guess. And it really looks good to create like the foamy bubbles. And now I'm taking a syringe and filling it up with oil. And then I'm going to inject the oil into the nail through the little hole in the middle of the beer stein. And then I'm gonna clean up the area of extra oil with a little cotton bud dipped into some just isopropyl alcohol and fill in that hole with more of that same combination of glitter and clear acrylic. If you don't have that glitter, which I would <laughs> highly suspect you do because it's really strange and I you don't see it very often. Uh, one thing that you could use instead is you could take a bead of white acrylic and a bead of clear acrylic and just sort of swirl them together a little bit and you could apply that instead and that would look really good or just um, like a really white silvery glitter even if it's not the same satiny effect it would still look fantastic like this white glitter itself it tends to as soon as you mix it with a wet product it becomes clear and so that's just going to get missed but there's many other things that you can use so now i'm going to be making the handle of my beer stein 
And so I'm holding the stein next to it just to make sure that I have the right size and shape that I'm needing. And I'm just sculpting that out with clear acrylic on a nail form backing here. And I'm also looking at a photo as I'm doing this to make sure, because they've got a very distinct shape to them. It's pretty straight on the top and the bottom, and then it's got a slight curve, but then there's two little glass bits on the top and the bottom. So the bottom, the corner between the handle that you hang on to and the part that connects to the glass, there's a little point that comes down. So you wanna make sure that that gets there. And then at the top, there's a little thumb pad. And so you wanna make sure that you get that in there too, because like I said, it's very distinct looking and you don't wanna, I don't know, the more accurate you can get it, the better. Once that's set, you can take that off, glue it on, and then secure all those little edges with some clear acrylic. Again, I think my camera doesn't like it when I glue things because it decides it doesn't need to record those steps. I just glued it on to hold it into place long enough that I can get the acrylic on there and it can set, basically, is what you're doing. The acrylic is really what's going to hold it on there. The glue is just a temporary fix. It's, I'm sure it's permanent enough, but it it doesn't have the strength that the acrylic does. And then with white paint, I'm going to be drawing just the little, because um, beer steins also have the glass is beveled a little bit. I don't know if that's, whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, but it's got that shape to it. And so you want to make sure you add that. And then a couple highlights on the handle and some highlights on the foam with white. And then on the beer or on the glass itself, you're going to want to add just a layer of a gel sealer to make sure it's really shiny. So that's going to be on the syndrilical part that we made. And then also on the handle, front and back of the handle. So make sure you cure both fully on the front and the back. And then after that's done, you can add a matte top coat over the foam. And that's going to also help give it that matte appearance, even if you used a shinier glitter. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design and please share any recreations with me on Facebook and Instagram. I would love to see them. And this nail is also going to be in my store. So if you're interested in that, check it out. There'll be a link below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.